Hello, first graders. I am excited for your art class today. Even though I'm right next door, I'm going to have an art video for you so you can have a fun lesson to do. Maybe I'll pop in. I know I have a couple specials for I'm not sure what time and see how it's going. We are going to be working today on a fun little owl activity. And we're gonna make little owls at night. And I think it's gonna be a really cute um, activity. I've never done it before, but I think it will be really fun. So I am going to read you a book and then you are going to work on making this adorable little owl. Look at those big green eyes. So that's what you'll be making when you're done with, when we're done with the story. There's a raccoon and a squirrel. <clears throat> Little Owl at Night. Little Owl was having a wonderful night. There's a little snail or slug. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. There's the little possums. We got a lot of possums by us. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch. There's Hedgehog sniffing the mushrooms. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. Oh, he missed that snail on the other page. <laughs> oh, and there's a couple over here. He's not looking very hard, but maybe berries will be better so the snails can live. <laughs> By the river, beavers nod at trees. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend, the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, frog rolled in a, in a hovered just overhead. <laughs> Sorry, not frog. Fog <laughs> rolled and hovered just ahead. So that's the fog, the night fog. Not the frog. <laughs> there's the little owl and there's the raccoon. Moss fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. See that? There's the silver dust. Little owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. And if you notice, this is at night. So all these animals are hanging out at night because they're nocturnal. At night is when they stay up and have fun. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear, don't sleep all night, Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon. Look at that big, beautiful moon. We have the raccoon. I think that's a raccoon. It might be some other kind of animal and it has it caught a fish or maybe it's stealing a fish from the bear. But the bear kept snoring as usual. Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. And there's the fish bones over here. He wondered if Bear had ever seen the stars because he sleeps so much at night. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? Frog croaked softly. Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the forest of his tree. Oh my goodness, foot of his tree. <laughs> This is at night after I taught all day, so <laughs> sometimes Miss Brunel gets mixed up. <laughs> Rustling at the foot of his tree, Fox had come to say hello. There's the fox, and there's a little bunny sleeping with his carrots. And there's that sweet owl. It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, little owl whispered, tell me again how night ends. And you guys know about bats and how bats are nocturnal. 
the moon and the stars fade to ghost, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads, dew drips sparkle on leaves, and grass like tiny stars come down. Moon flowers close, close and morning glories open. So there's moon flowers. I've never heard of a moon flower, but I guess moon flowers close during the day, but I do have morning glories. They're some of my favorite flowers. And at night they close, and when the sun comes out, they open up. It's so cool. It's like little, some little God's miracles. And the sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold. That's when the sun starts rising. The rooster crows, the crows caw, and the day begins, said Mama. But little owl did not hear. He was fast asleep. Isn't he just the cutest? I just love this book and the pictures. I think it's so pretty. Um, so what we are going to do, it's kind of like the cover. We are gonna make a little owl with big old eyes sitting on a branch with black background. We'll have a bright white moon, full moon, and you can add some stars and maybe at the bottom if you wanted to add any of his little animal friends, I think that would be cute. So I'm gonna get my supplies out. I will have your supplies to pry, uh, in your room uh, when you get there uh, in the morning. So I will be right back. Hi guys, welcome back. I did a bit of a costume change. I'm actually working in the morning, although it's very dark out <laughs> um, while my kids are sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet, so hopefully you can hear me. We're going to begin with um, our owl body, and we're going to start with his eyes. And just a reminder, this is our cute little owl. So we're going to do two big eyes. Um, what you'll need of your own materials are a glue stick and scissors, and then I will supply all the other things for you. Um, you'll have a white um, colored pencil, a marker, and a Sharpie, um, and a couple other things. So I will get you all those supplies, and you'll have them ready before you start. So the first thing you'll do is you are going to take a tracer. I'll have tracers for you guys. <clears throat> and you are going to trace two circles for the eyes. Now you want to be really careful to keep your tracer in the same spot. I'm going to use a Sharpie so you guys can see. And mine is not super perfect, but that's okay. So those are gonna be his big owl eyes. Now you're going to cut those out. <clears throat> when you are cutting, you have to be really careful when you're cutting circles. You wanna follow your line, and you remember, you guys are gonna have pencil lines, so that way you can erase them. My lines are not perfect, but that's all right. Um, but be really careful as you're cutting along the circle. Don't do fast cuts or they're gonna be more like lines and jagged. You want it nice and smooth and you wanna turn your paper as you go. So be really careful while you're cutting. And throughout the video, you'll probably have to have a person that pauses it um, in case you need time to catch up. Okay, so I have my one circle. And I'll give you guys better paper than this. This is my computer paper. So really take your time to make a nice circle, but if it's not perfect, that's okay. All right, so you're gonna have two circles. So I will show you the um, what you're going to do with your circles. <laughs> it's 
kind of hard. I, one of these days I'm going to do it on my Elmo so that way I can just set the video up on it and you can see the video. You don't have to watch me the whole time. Um, but I'm at home so we'll do the best we can. So you're going to, I'm going to be giving you a green marker because if you can see the inside of that owl's eye is green. Um, if you have a different color marker, if you wanted to do blue, um, I think that would be fine too, but I will be providing you with a green marker. So what you're going to do is you're going to color a circle inside your white eye. You're going to be really careful to just do your very best and you want to leave some of that white around it. <clears throat> and if you remember, we talked about what the color part of the eye is. That is the iris. And you're going to color it. You don't have to color it all the way in because you're going to use a Sharpie to make the big pupil in the middle. Now, I don't have a Sharpie with me right now. I'm going to use a black marker. But your Sharpie, so don't matter how much you color in of the green, your Sharpie will cover it. Okay, so you'll do another, oh, not a very good black marker. <laughs> Yours are gonna be really awesome Sharpies. But you'll color it in the pupil in the center. Okay, so you'll wanna do that with both eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then I'll show you how we're going to do his head. Okay, so the next thing you do is you're going to have a brown piece of paper and you can kind of lay out your eyes to see how big you want your head to be. Um, in our book, his head's kind of small and the eyes are actually going around, going on the outside of his head. So you kind of, you don't see his head too much. So um, you don't want to make your head too big, um, but you can kind of lay your eyes out to get an idea of how big you want it to be. And then you're going to make an oval, okay? And you're going to use your pencil again. I'm using a Sharpie so that way you guys can see it. And you're just going to draw an oval, okay? So that is going to be my little owl's head. Um, and then we'll cut that out and um, we will glue the eyes on that and his beak, which we'll do next, and then um, work on his body. So do the oval and then cut it out. And I, you will have a smaller piece of paper. I have a big piece of paper, so you'll get an idea of how big to make it. Um, and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I've made a little tiny head and now I'm gonna glue the eyes on each side of it. Now. On this side, I can see my Sharpie lines, so I'm going to flip it over because this side, you can't see it. So make sure you do that with your pencil. Do not um, use the side that has your pencil lines on it. Flip it over and then it's nice and fresh. Um, I probably should have said the same thing for the eyes. So you want to um, always use your pencil lines on the back and then color on the other side of it so you don't see them. You can also erase them if you need to. So you're going to glue the eyes on each side of the little owl head. Um, so you'll have your glue sticks. Remember with the glue sticks, we don't put it up too high. Put a little on the back of the eye and glue it on. And it's okay if your eye hangs off the head a little bit. I think that looks cute. Okay, and you can make them a little closer together if you would like. And remember when you're doing your eyes, try to make them symmetrical, okay? So they both of the irises are about the same size and the pupils are about the same size. Um, if they're not, you can try to fix them a little. Um, so that's the first step of his little owl head. Um, next, I'll show you how to do the simple beak. So you will have a little piece of yellow paper. Now, 
We don't want our beak to be too big. Like if it was this whole yellow paper, it'd be way too big. So we're gonna draw a little diamond on our paper and then um, cut it out. Now it's gonna be really tiny on here. Um, I can show you on this whiteboard. When you draw a diamond, it is just four points. And you want the points to be across from each other. So these two would be right across from each other and those two. So if you wanted to even draw the dots first, and then that is a diamond. That's going to be our beak. So um, you're going to make it nice and small, okay? So when you're drawing, don't draw it too big. Just draw it nice and small. And you can always make it smaller. If you put it on the owl and it's way too big, then just go ahead and make it smaller. Look at how teeny tiny it is. So that's my little beak. So I'm gonna cut that out and then we'll glue it on to the owl. So remember, if any time in this video, you're noticing that um, you guys need to catch up, maybe you guys could have a pause person that pauses it and then you guys can catch up a bit. And there's my tiny beak. So again, there's my little red lines. You don't want to show that. So that's the side I'll put the glue on. And then I'll glue it onto the owl there. So put a little glue on the back of my beak. And then glue it on his little head. Oh my goodness, is he just so cute so far. So um, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little body here. Um, so I'll have another piece of brown paper for you so it'll be about the right size. And you're just gonna draw You'll draw on this paper it's gonna be a, a rainbow. We're gonna do his belly, but upside down because it's a little easier to draw a rainbow, I feel like. So you're gonna just do like a rainbow arc. Oh, mine's not perfectly straight, but I can fix that when I'm cutting. So that will be his little belly. So you'll cut that out. And usually I pause it during these parts, but I'm sure you're gonna need some time. So I'll cut it out on the video. <laughs> okay, so there's his little belly. And before we glue on his belly, I'm gonna have you guys take a Sharpie and make little U shapes for his I'll just use my red sharpie so you can see. Little U shapes for his feather on his belly, okay? So what you do is you just, do you see? Oops. You do a bunch of U's and you keep on doing them and that makes it look like his feathers. Okay, so you'll do it across the top and then you'll do it again, do another row. And you're gonna keep on adding those feathers all the way down till his whole belly is filled in. Now, if I really was a good YouTuber, I would have it in like fast forward mode so you can see it as I'm working, <laughs> but I don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna pause it, finish this, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, when you're done, I'll be filling in like this. Um, now, I don't know if I told you what to use for that, so you can use Sharpie. Um, I think it looks nice, or if you want to use a brown crayon or brown marker, you can use that. So, we'll
So the next step you're going to do, you have one little thing left to do. You'll have, well, on the owl, then we have to do the background. You'll have two little rectangles. Now these are going to be his little tufts on the top of his head. I learned that owls, those little tufts on the top of their head, are not their ears. They're actually just feathers. I guess their ears are on the side of their eyes. I do not know. So you're going to take your little rectangle and your scissors, and you're going to make some lines. So then if you want to add some stars, 
you just do a line down and then across and then a line through those. You see? You can mm -hmm. add some stars in the sky. Okay, the last thing, you need a yellow. So I'll give you a color pencil or a yellow of some sort to draw his little feet. So you just do three. Oh, it's not showing up. It's not showing up, I don't know why. I'll try it with the light and see if it shows up. Just do three little lines for his feet, but it is not working. Maybe we'll need another maybe yellow crayon to do it. There we go. That's freaky. Um, kinda. You can kind of see his three little feet. See his three little toes on each side? So you'll add that onto your branch. Just really tiny. Don't do it too big. Um, and that will be your little owl at night. I love it so much. So take your time, have fun with it. Um, make sure you let your teacher work. So you just do your best. If you need help, maybe ask a friend. If you wanna push the little tufts forward, you can. Um, and if you have any questions, you guys, I'll be right next door so I can help. But I hope you guys have fun with it. I think it's really cute. I will see you soon.